Okay, the next thing we're going to do is restore the backup of our Linux VM. Um, and we're going to do that using a Cronus. And so the first thing I'm going to do is to make a, a change to our Linux VM. And basically the reason I'm doing that is to to make make sure that we can see that the server has actually been restored. So what I've done here is I've just changed the prompt to say before restore started. Hopefully that makes sense to you. It's basically just so we know uh, which version of the server we have in front of us. So I'm gonna take that screen away. Okay. Uh, I'm in the HA hosting uh, control panel for the VM, Linux Virtual Server Backup Test. Uh, we go to more and we look for ISO image. Okay, so within the drop down list, there's various bits and pieces. The one we're looking for is the Acronis Boot Media. And once we've selected that, we are going to boot from ISO. Okay, that's going to reboot your VM. Just a little warning. So that's coming up. Okay, so. Let's just bring the console back. There we go. The console has... Re indeed rebooted. Okay, so the VM has shut down and now we need to power it on. So that wasn't what we we're expecting. We're going to try again and reboot. There we go. That's what we're expecting. It looks like I've got two cursors. While we're using this one, we want to use the bigger gold one. Uh, and what we want to select is rescue media. Oh, there we go. So we're now booting up from the Acronis boot media into the recovery console. Okay, so if we register media, then if you go, you log into the Acronis uh, cloud console, what you can do is select the backup server, the server that you wish to recover, select it under devices, click on recovery, download ISO image. You don't need the ISO image. You just need this code as we've already got the ISO image. Okay, so I'm gonna try that again with the hyphens. So E26F, hyphen a5 a9 hyphen 448f now don't use that code use the one from the acronis cyber cloud so what we're going to do is we're going to go for apply universal restore and select the operating system okay and the restore is running this may take Few, a few minutes okay so we just check the history and it took four and a half minutes or so and succeeded four minutes and three seconds uh, obviously your server may take longer uh, if it's got more data so we're going to close that and then we go to Actions, exit. 
Okay, so now we're going to try and reboot. What we're going to do is continue booting to the OS media. The only small problem is I've lost control of my mouse. So let's just move the console out of the way. We're going to go. We're going to go to the HR hosting management console uh, for the server in question, and I'm going to go to more, detach ISO, click OK. Refresh. ISO is now gone. OK, let's come back now and go to the console again. says it's booting from hard disk. Okay, so we're booting up into Debian. And we need to log in details. So, right, you can get the details from the HA hosting control panel. So your username is client underscore uh, a number underscore followed by another number. And we're just going to get the password. M2 LZ C F 7 X. Okay. Okay, so that's a successful backup using a Cronus. We know this is the uh, version of the server from the backup because if you remember, I changed the format of the prompt uh, to say before restore completed. So we're back to where we were. Fairly straightforward uh, backup and recovery of Linux the Linux operating system there. Okay, thanks very much. Bye now.